Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time coming. It's honestly been one of the longest times I've actually not done any videos on my channel. Like it's been 14 days, but I've been extremely ill. I'm still slightly ill now. Um, there must have been some sort of virus that was going around because I started like throwing up and then all of a sudden I got this really bad chest infection. And then I just, I don't know, I just couldn't seem to go to work. I couldn't seem to get myself to do any any YouTube videos or anything like that. But I'm going to be trying to get back into the swing of things now. Sorry I look so rough. But I want to start getting back into the, the full swing of uh, doing YouTube again. So if you are new around here, make sure you smash a like, subscribe as well. And I hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys know, I made, I made a YouTube video, on my my first ever YouTube video actually, on Rafinha, regarding whether he was going to be the next flop for Barcelona, and in the time, he didn't really seem to live up to the potential that everybody was hyping him up to be. And now there has been reports um, about Rafinha could be actually leaving Barcelona in the summer. And there was a lot of people who commented on the video saying that it, it wasn't true, it's just a load of like, media... Um, rubbish and stuff like that but obviously when he was playing for Leeds United he did accumulate around about 18 goal contributions in about uh, 34 appearances for the club when he was actually there and now when he's been at Barcelona he's only managed to accumulate around about like three goal contributions in almost 20 appearances for the club and at the time it was brilliant business by Leeds I th what was it about 60 million euros that Leeds United sold him for and that to me is is still an amazing piece of business because I mean yes fair enough he was our best player but if you think about it as well um, if you put a decent player or a good world class player in a squad full of championship players they're gonna them players are gonna make the other player look like really good and I feel like that's what happened with Rafinha he he obviously excelled in the Premier League he was amazing don't get me wrong his stats his stats don't lie but at the same time now since he's playing for Barcelona he's surrounded by better players so could that lead to him not performing as well or like has he got some sort of like performance issues at the moment lead on to the 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 thumbnail and the title and it, it's it's a bit sad to be honest with you because obviously when Rafinha joined Barcelona he was actually performing really well in training he performed extremely well in pre-season and he actually managed to score and get an assist in his first first game for Barcelona but all of a sudden he's just dropped off the pecking order and honestly believe it or not Xavi actually didn't put him in in the first team for a while so there must be some sort of psychological effect going on at Rafinha while he's 26 years old which is nothing for a for a player of his of his caliber um, Laporte and Xavi have actually had like meetings about Rafinha and actually said that uh, if he doesn't continue performing then they are going to be willing to answer um, transfer speculations and they're going to be probably listening to offers in the summer transfer window as well. Like I know 18, 18 games and just only accumulating around about two goals it's very poor especially with the price tag they paid like 60 million euros for the player like it's it's a very big price tag to to pay for someone who isn't really going to be delivering so what does this mean for uh, Barcelona and Rafinha if obviously if he doesn't continue performing and they are going to be probably listening to offers I don't know where he'll end up to be honest with you like it's a very difficult one because Rafinha is a very good player he has shown that and do you, th do you think honestly guys do you think he'll go play uh, could go to like Chelsea I know that it was different when Leeds United he was playing for Leeds United he was in form then compared to the type of player they are now because they're if they're going to be selling him, they're not going to get that much money, like maybe roughly about 30 to 40 million euros. So they're going to lose a lot of money from him if, they don't, if he doesn't continue to perform. 